everyone, this is Floss. I'm a physical therapist here in the city and a trainer with East River Pilates. Today I'm here with Well and Good, taking you through a stretching routine to try and combat all that working from home and sitting in a chair. We're going to start up on your feet. Let's ground those feet in underneath your hips. Place a soft little bend in through your knees and just gently tuck under with the tail. Drawing in through your deep abdominals and we're going to reach both arms up towards the roof. Breathe in to prepare. When you breathe out, reach up with the right arm. Breathe in to come down and breathe out, reaching up, lengthening through the left. We're going to slowly swap from side to side. Trying to find as much length down your side body as you can. Stretching under the arm, down the side of the body, down into the side of the hip. Let's pause for a moment. Take that foot out a little bit wider. And then as you stretch, start to stretch a little bit further across. Trying to make the side of the body as long as you can. And if you feel somewhere that's particularly tight for you, try and really work into that area. One more over to the right. And then come over to the left, reach the left hand up, twist and reach the other side of the room. Fold yourself down and onto the side of your leg. Feel that, step, that stretch up through the calf and through the inner thigh and hamstring. Walk your hands down through the middle, feeling that stretch through your hamstrings and through the glutes, those muscles that are tightened and short during the day while we sit in our chairs. Let's roll back up through the middle one vertebrae at a time and reach those hands up and overhead. Reaching over to the right, long through the body, twist, reach away from you and then fold down and onto the side of the leg. Reaching your chest towards your knee, feeling that stretch through the inner hamstring, through the back of the calf. Roll yourself down around, hang between your knees. And then take your hand to the opposite elbow, let your head hang down heavy. And give those elbows a little ragdoll stretch from side to side. Pull those elbows towards your big toes. Reach those hands down, take a big breath in. And as we breathe out, roll back up one vertebrae at a time, trying to roll through the spine, create as much mobility as possible and roll those shoulders out. Let's take those hands out wide to the side. We're going to breathe in and open up through your heart and breathe out and close the chest through the front of the body. Breathe in to open and breathe out to close. We're working on thoracic flexion and thoracic spine extension. Retracting and protracting the shoulder blades, getting mobility through that upper part of the body and around that shoulder girdle. Let's round and curl and hold. Reach those hands up and float them back down by your side. From here, stepping to the end of the mat, we're going to take another roll down, chin to chest, round through your spine. Come on down, feel that nice big stretch through the back of the legs. And just for a moment, coming out to your plank. We're not here in this plank for long. Tighten through your core, bring one knee towards your chest and then step that foot up into between your hands in front of you. Keep a right angle at that front knee, push your back heel down and back and let yourself open up through your left hamstring, through your right hip flexor and your right quad. Breathe as you hold and you feel that stretch. In particular here, opening up through the right hip and hip flexor that tightens and can shorten as we spend more time sitting and being more active during the day. Keep pushing back with that back heel, straighten that knee, your right hand stays down and twist your left hand reaching towards the sky. Bring that hand back down to the floor and repeat that exercise again. We're looking for opening through the chest, we're looking for thoracic rotation, continuing to open up through the hip flexor and through that quad. Take the knee down at the back and then push yourself all the way up into a kneeling position. With the pelvis, let's start to rock the pelvis backwards and forwards. Really focus on that posterior tilt, tucking the pelvis under. And again, as you tuck under, you should feel there's more of a stretch through the hip flexor and through the quads at the front of that hip. Keep that pelvis tucked under and then gently let yourself push into that stretch a little bit more. Remember as we're stretching that we can feel a strong stretch, but we never want it to feel like it's painful. 
Then as you keep that tuck and you keep the lean into that stretch, your right arm reaches up towards the sky. We reach across to add more length into the psoas, that hip flexor muscle through the right hand side. Come back to the top and let's bring that hand back down. Bring the hands down, back down in front of the, your body, tuck your back toe behind and then again just for a moment let's take your left foot back and find a plank again. Your right foot steps up in between your hands. We're pushing your back heel away from you, your heart is stretching forward and let yourself stretch down and into the left quad and hip flexor now. Try not to collapse down over the front of your body, try and stay long and create extension in our body. Something that's lacking when we're flexing in our chairs, flexing over our computers and our screens. Opening through the front of that left hip flexor, maybe a little stretch into your right hamstring and then keep the left hand down and twist your right hand up and reach towards the sky. As we take this thoracic rotation a couple of times, think about reaching for the sky and the roof rather than just coming into further rotation. So we create traction and we're going to open up more through the chest. Taking just one more, bring that hand down and then bring the back knee down, untucking the foot. Push up and into your kneeling lunge, hands on your hips, tuck that pelvis under, feel a little more intensity into the front of the hip and then gently let yourself push further into that stretch. The left arm reaches towards the sky and then we reach up and over with that top arm. Smooth and steady with your breathing as you stretch there, coming back to the top. Bring that hand down, bring the hands down to the outside of the foot, step that knee back. Now let's come back into that spine, working on flexion extension. So your chin comes to your chest, push the middle of your back right up towards the sky, tuck your tailbone under and then extend. When we extend, lift out of the chest, out of the shoulders, lift the heart up in front. Try and squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back of the body. Breathe out round and curl, pull the core in, moving your spine into flexion. And breathing in, reach the heart out, shoulders back, extending that spine. We'll take one more in each direction. Breathe out, we round and curl. And breathe in, we arch and extend. Keep that extension in the spine, just push your bottom back towards your heels and reach your hands right out and away from you. So we're in child's pose here. Really nice position to maybe spend a little bit of a longer period of time if you've got time later after this session. Pushing your bottom back into your heels, reaching your hands away from you. Press the hands down and then bring your hips forward. Chest starts to open out and slowly lower down into, again, another chest opener, another extension through the spine. If you can't come all the way down, that's okay. Work as far as you can. should never be uncomfortable for the low back. We're going to move through from that child's pose position. Come forwards and backwards a couple of times. As we come forward and back, make it smooth and steady. Try and feel that you're moving through really thick honey as you push your body forwards and backwards. Push out of the hands and pull towards the hands. Chest up, open, spread those collarbones, open that heart. Smooth and steady with the breathing as we go. And if we're smooth and steady with our breathing, you'll find it calms your heart rate, can calm your mind. We're going to hold here. Look over your right shoulder. Let your right shoulder pull back. Let your hip pull back a little. Swap over to the other side. Smooth and steady with your breath. Combining that hip opener with that thoracic rotation, thoracic extension. And one more over to the left. From here we push up onto your hands and knees again. If your wrists need a little break, come back to child's pose. Give them a shake on out and come back up to that four point kneel when we're ready. So one hand is going to come to the back of the head. Place that hand onto the uh, bottom of your hairline. Think about pushing your left hand into the floor as you lift your right elbow up, looking for thoracic extension, opening through the front of the body. Breathe in to come down, elbow comes to your elbow, and breathe out, open up through the body. 
So as we work here, we're stretching, we're also getting a little strengthening and stability work into our left shoulder. If we're looking at trying to free our body up, move our body, we want to have a nice balance of mobility, but also strength as well. For your last one, let's lift up and hold up and take two big deep breaths here. Trying to move a little further on each breath. One more to go. Bring that hand down and we're going to float to the other side. So the left hand comes to the back of the head. Chest is lifted. Push out of the right knuckles as you twist your left elbow up. Breathe in. Come elbow to elbow. And then as you breathe out, push through that right arm. Lift that elbow up nice and high, twisting through that thoracic spine. Smooth with your breathing as you move. And again, remember, you should feel like you're working your right arm as we're mobilizing through the spine. Notice within yourself if you're able to go further on one side than the other. And in time, we want to try and make that mobility restriction a little more balanced from side to side. We're going to take one more. We'll hold this last one. So come up, hold up, open as you take a big breath in, big breath out. One more time, big breath in, pushing further, and breath out, bring that hand down and sit your bottom back to your heels. Taking a few moments, taking a couple of big deep breaths here in your child's pose. We're gonna come up to four point kneel and just scoot your hips around, coming around to lie onto your back. So rolling down onto your back. Let's place one foot to the other knee and start off by pressing that knee nice and wide. Feel yourself opening through the hips. Hands come down to the floor to give you support. We're gonna come into a little bit of a bridge, pushing your hips up, squeezing the glutes behind and feel how the hips get to open even more. We lower it down, we don't hold it. And if it only feels right for you to come a little of the way up, then do what feels comfortable. It should never feel uncomfortable. You should feel that you're opening through the front of the hips, but not straining through the front of the hip. We're taking another two, so we'll have done five on each side. Driving that bottom foot down into the floor as you push up into your final one. Lower back on down, and then reach through, grab the other thigh and draw that thigh towards you. Bring a little bit more intensity into the stretch of that left glute. Your head's relaxed. Always try and keep your head, neck and shoulders relaxed when you're stretching here, not lifting up off the floor. The top foot is going to reach up towards the sky and then point and flex at that ankle, adding a little bit of a stretch into the ankle joint, the calf, and maybe the nerves that travel down the back of the legs, in particular the sciatic nerve and its branches that branch down the back of the leg all the way to the foot. You're going to hold your toes pulling back towards you. Try and pull that leg in a little bit stronger and hold. If you're not as flexible, you can always use a towel and hook it around the back of the leg or around the foot to help yourself get into this position, but still be able to hold and relax through the head, neck and shoulders. Let's release that foot down, place it back down to the ground, and we're going to swap to the other side. So arms down to support us. and knee presses out wide, first of all. Breathe out and then push up into a little bridge. Nice and easy, again, focusing on opening up through your hips but not straining. You might even get a little bit of glute work in here behind as well. Nice to fire up those glutes once you've been just sitting on them during the day. We're taking another two. Drive through the hands, drive through the heel. Push up, hold up. Come on down. As we swap onto that figure four stretch, reaching through, grab your thigh, and then relax the head, neck, and shoulders down. Hold here to start with, and noticing again if there's a difference from side to side. And in time, we want to balance those differences out. Feeling the knee press nice and wide, draw the thigh towards you, and stretch your top foot up towards the sky. The top foot's reaching to the sky, let's point and flex at the ankles. Feeling that stretch through the calf, through the ankle joint itself and down the back of the leg. 
pull the toes towards you, draw everything a little tighter, try and keep that right knee wider and release back on down again. Moving through our spine, we're gonna come through a rolling bridge. So tuck the pelvis under and feel how that flattens through the low back and then scoop your hips up off the floor and then we're gonna roll from the top of your spine back down one vertebrae at a time. Rolling up and down, we're looking for mobility and stability in our spine here. If there's anything uncomfortable about this for you, then just make it a little bit smaller so that we're always looking after our body as we go. Taking another two. And taking another one. Take a little squeeze with those glutes at the top, letting those hips open up, drive those feet down into the floor. From here, rolling all the way back on down. So we're going to stretch your left leg out away from you. Take your arms out to the side. And then let that right knee fall over to the left. So you can, you're going to continue to look towards the sky. Bring that hand onto the hip and try and create a rotation through the hip, through the low back, through the middle back. And on this right side, feel that you're stretching and opening out through the pec, the front of the shoulder joint, and through the bicep. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, try and press just a little bit further. And as you breathe in, bring yourself back to the middle. We're gonna swap those feet over from side to side. So the right leg stretches out, the left leg comes up. Let that left knee fall over to the side. Allow it to overpress with the right hand and reach and look out towards your left fingertips. Twisting through the spine. Smooth and steady with your breath. When you're breathing out, you're gonna try and push that a little bit further. Breathing in, coming back to the middle. So we're gonna bring ourselves all the way over onto our side here. Stack your feet, knees and hips. And then if you've got a pillow at home, you can place a pillow underneath your head. Otherwise your head will relax down, both fingertips reaching out in front of you. And your top hand is gonna reach forward, up, over. Once it's looking towards, looking, reaching towards the roof, open your chest up, bring that arm back, coming to cactus arm with that right side. And you're here in your book opener stretch. If you can get that shoulder blade all the way down to the floor, maybe reach your top hip further away. So we're really winding up from your right toe to your right fingertips, winding up a rotation through that spine. Close that back up again and take that same stretch one more time. Smooth and steady with the breath. Close it back on up and then push up and onto your side. So here we've got the hips open, one foot to the other knee and the other foot's tucking back. Reach down, grab your ankle and reach your other arm up and over, coming into your mermaid stretch. Place the hand down to the floor and reach and lengthen through the right side of the body. Right hand comes up and over and try and create the most space you can underneath your underarm through the length of the body. Draw and pull yourself into your right hand to open up through that left side and come on back. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So nice and easily, you just swap the feet over from where they've been. So your feet are now facing to the other way. Grab onto that ankle, reach that arm to the side and reach up and over, lengthening. And we're lengthening in to your rotator cuff, into your lap muscles, the obliques down the side of the body. And in particular, when we're really wound up over here, we're also coming down into the back of the hips. You might find this in a different spot than somewhere else, and that's okay. And you might find it in a different spot today than you did yesterday. Work into that restriction without causing pain, and you'll find that that opens up further. We're gonna take just one more. And then from here, we're gonna repeat that book opener on our other side. So head comes down, maybe onto a pillow, both arms are reaching out in front of you. Top hand reaches up, over, twist, open up through the chest, bicep, and then maybe bringing that top leg across to wind the spine up more. Close the body 
and your final stretch here. We reach up and over, open through the front of the body. Take a big deep breath in there. Breathing out, relax further into that stretch. And then let's close it on up. Pushing up onto your knees and find a comfortable position. And as you finish off your session, you're gonna take a bit of time focusing on your breath, relaxing, Try to let the stressful world stay outside, stay nice and focused, nice and limber and stretch inside. Thanks for joining me today and for more like this, subscribe to Well and Good and I look forward to seeing you again soon.